You know the feeling when you just finished a great TV show or a K-drama and getting attached to the story and the characters? This feeling of sadness and depression wishing that there are more episodes or just a special episode you didn't know about? I got that feeling after I finished the last episode of Flower of Evil. When I decided to watch this show and read the summary, I expected it to be just a crime drama with a little bit of romance, but it surprised me with the best mature romantic relationship I've ever seen in a Korean drama. The relationship of the leads in this drama is unique and on a next level. I think what makes it stand out is that it's more near to be realistic than most relationships we see in Korean dramas. The relationship exceeds falling in love phase and it dives into more mature things like marriage and having a child together. What makes it also special is that how their love only grows and gets stronger throughout the years. I must admit that as much as I like these relations, I despise them as well. I mean like, these things just set high standards for relations and partners. Like, how am I going to find a suitable partner for me now after seeing this? I think I should just stay single since it's the trend currently, as Kim Mo Jin said. One of the things that I also enjoyed about their relation is how they stick to each other in the present and the past, despite the difficulties, like in the past when Do Hyun Soo didn't trust anyone and was a little bit aggressive towards people, we saw how Cha Ji Won stood beside him even when he suspected her of collecting information about him. And in the present, when Cha Ji Won began to suspect him of committing the crimes, he stood beside her and refused to let her go, trying his best to prove his innocence to her. A good thing about the romance in this show is that there is no love triangle. Instead, the show focused on deep emotions and pure love, and it was helped by the great performance and chemistry between the main leads, which allowed us, the viewers, to feel the emotions that these characters were feeling and going through. Something I didn't like is the lack of trust from the female lead towards the male lead, as she was always the first one to suspect him of being the bad person and the one who committed the crimes. I know that unlike us, the viewers who knew that Do Hyun Soo was innocent since we knew his past, the character of the female lead didn't know about his past as he was hiding it from her to protect his sister, and especially after she heard Do Hyun Soo conversation with his sister and telling her that he didn't love Ji Won. I mean like she has been his wife for 14 years and she must be the most familiar with him being unable to show or to express his emotions and maybe if she stayed a little bit more hearing their conversation, maybe she would hear his explanation, but instead, she only wanted to hear that part. I know I'm being hard on her, but like, I was heartbroken every time I see him suffer because of her, especially that time when she told him that she stopped liking him and she started to despise him instead. I mean like, Imagine you hearing that from the person you love and respect and the only person you trust suddenly without any warning. How would you feel? One of the most powerful elements in the show is the acting of both the male leads especially Lee Jong Ji, who gave a magnificent performance portraying a character such as Do Hyun Soo. I mean, as a fanboy of Jong Ji, this is the best performance I've seen of him of all the characters I've seen him playing since I first saw him in Moon Lovers, which is a series I don't want to talk about. I also like the acting of Moon Chae Won playing the character of Cha Ji Won, who is one of the strongest female characters I've seen in recent K-dramas. So unlike recent K-dramas where the female lead is portrayed as a strong character, 
just in front of the main lead for a couple of episodes and then becoming weak and naive character in front of everyone else, G1 character was a badass character throughout the show, standing for herself, catching criminals without fear, and even making the antisocial guy she has feeling for falls for her. One of the hilarious scenes about her is when she ran after Hyun Su all the way to the storage and almost revealed his identity if not for his toughness that allowed him to escape. I enjoy the development of Kim Mo Jin and Do Hae Su relation throughout the show. From being friends at childhood and then separating after Hae Su's father was revealed to be a serial killer and then meeting again in the future and teaming up with Hyun Su to reveal the accomplice of their father in the serial killing case. I think I was a little bit disappointed by the acting of the actress who played Hae Su as I think she didn't show many emotions portraying her character and don't get me wrong, there were scenes which she did a good job at but maybe it's because that the character of Hesu was some kind of emotionless character that she wasn't able to show deep feelings but overall as I said I enjoyed their relation even though it didn't have a satisfying ending compared to the emotions we invested in it. Another character I must of course talk about is the real enemy of the show and the accomplice in the serial killing case, Becky Song. I must say that I was impressed by the acting of Ji Hong Kim who portrayed this character and showed the madness and manipulation inside this character which remind me of the character of Johan Liebert from Anime Monster if you've heard about. One of the scariest thing about Hee Song is his way of approaching and manipulating people, especially his family as he made them believe that they can fix him and use their kindness towards him in his advantage, turning them into murderers, not to mention his almost successful attempt in turning Hyun Soo into a murderer by showing him the ID of his wife covered by blood and I think that if he knew that the person he stabbed wasn't actually his wife, he would have succeeded in his attempt. Let's not forget his intelligence in revealing the plan of Hyun Su to cut the director of the hospital and then using that to outsmart Hyun Su and framing him of the murder of the maid. I wished that the show gave the viewers more clues about the identity of the accomplice so we can also conclude the identity of the culprit by the time of the revealing as the show only gave few unimportant clues like him chewing on his left fingers which was only shown with the reveal of the accomplice or him working as a volunteer at the hospital which shifted all the attention to his father and I don't know if you have noticed or not but all the characters in this show don't age at all actually they become more handsome with time as I expected that the accomplice should be at least an old man after 18 years, but he was still as young as he was at that time. The ending was a little bit also disappointed for me, as I think the idea of Hyun Su losing his memories after the car accident, forgetting about his wife and his daughter, and then by the end returning to his wife so they can discover the old him was a little bit pathetic as I felt that this was more of a forced love than a true love which is what we used to during the show. And then at the end scene when he went to meet his daughter after a long time he just looked emotionless as he didn't have strong feelings towards her. And as I said the ending could have been better if they just like made him regain his memories so it can look more natural to the viewers. Overall, the show was very amusing. I went through different emotions throughout the show, and the amazing background music and direction only made it better. 
Finally, my rating for the show is 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching this video, tell me in the comments what do you think about the show and your rating for it. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.